is no question that if you're working in these factories, it's a rough life. It's not probably quite as bad as some of those steel mills in Pittsburgh or slaughterhouses in Chicago. Philadelphia's industrial workforce is, relatively speaking, pretty high skilled. Philadelphia is specializing in the top of the line, the high end, the finished products. And therefore, these are workers who are getting paid, relatively speaking, pretty well. Uh, many of them for what they're doing. This is not where mining is taking place, where raw materials are being extracted. This is where the steel comes to be turned into tool and die, to be turned into saws and, um, and, and equipment of one sort and another. So I think there is a tremendous pride in the productive capacity of the city because you can see all of the different things that industrialism is producing. Internationally, the comparison was with Manchester. Uh, which in the 19th century looked for a moment like it might actually grow bigger than London uh, and was built around factories, especially textile factories, especially attached to the southern economy. But Philadelphia was known as the Manchester of the United States and Manchester was known as the Philadelphia of England uh, at a certain point in the middle of the 19th century. When we think about the other big industrial centers, especially out in the Midwest, you're thinking about low-skilled labor. Uh, exploited labor in a way that Philadelphia, I don't want to romanticize factory life in Philadelphia, but it's on a smaller scale and it is a, a, a higher skilled worker.